brand new conference here. We are at the International Precious Metals Institute Metals Mobility Symposium. Bodo Albert is the president of the IPMI and he joins me today. Bodo, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time you're doing this event. This is the first time IPMI has an event with this specific topic. We've okay. had events on automotive catalysts before but not with a focus on the alternative technologies like battery electric. And right, electric. And, and look at the timing, you know, with Tesla in the news so much these yes. days. You yeah. know, why did the IPMI decide to do it now? We thought it was important to highlight all aspects of the discussion. Uh, Tesla is certainly getting a lot of media attention, which in part is due to its charismatic leader. But uh, there are other developments, there are other countries with different battery electric technologies. Um, there's also the question of infrastructure and is it really a viable technology for the future? Mm -hmm. Would it rather be hydrogen electric? And all of this has implications on the precious metals industry because um, battery electric vehicles do not require precious metals while hydrogen electric vehicles, the fuel cells, will require precious metals. Well, so let's look at, look at this from the optic of the investor who obviously mm -hmm. wants to get into that metal that could potentially take off yes. with electric uh, vehicles, right? right? So wh what, what is the consensus here? I think the consensus from, from the event so far was that the topic is far more complex than it would seem in the public eye and that the transformation from where we are today, the, the petrol engine or uh, ICE, internal combustion engine technology, towards any other technology will take decades. It's a very lengthy process because of the energy delivery mm -hmm. Uh, that is required and, and uh, the filling station and everything else involved. Well, we know that today's cars, catalytic converters use rhodium, platinum, palladium. So with, you know, electrical cars becoming the norm one day, will those metals become irrelevant? They may. There is a uh, scenario in which they may become irrelevant. And if you look at the major players in the field, the major automotive catalyst suppliers like Johnson Methe, mm -hmm. Umicor, BASF, etc., um, they are all um, evolving into battery materials and hydrogen fuel cells for that reason. But again, it's, it's a long time out. So where would you be as an investor, as Bodo the investor? What, what metal are you counting on? Oh, I wouldn't worry right now. I mean, this, I, I would agree that this is a long-term development. And I also believe in the, uh, the power of innovation in our industry. Um, other right. developments will happen in platinum group metals that will substitute this application. So where do you see the long-term growth though? Is it cobalt? Is it lithium? Yeah, that is medium term. I mean, there is abundance of lithium. Um, there is a shortage of cobalt, which is temporary because cobalt uh, for the most part is mined in the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, that has been accused of slave labor and child labor. So the well, we're seeing, I know there's some yeah. new mining companies looking to, to Chile now for, yeah, for exactly. cobalt. I was, I was going right. to say that, yeah, it's Chile, it's uh, Canada a little yeah. bit, it's um, Australia, and companies are mining cobalt there at a, at a higher production cost, mm -hmm. but it's becoming available. So this is just a transformation, but cobalt prices have gone up, um, uh, I don't know, threefold over, over the past two years, and um, this, this will have to level out at some point. So what are you hoping... Uh, you know, to learn from this event or for investors to learn here today? Um, the takeaway, the big takeaway I hope from this event will be that investors will, will find their, uh, will put all the puzzles pieces together and, and find their, their path forward, m medium and long term, uh, to say, do we really have to panic about platinum, palladium and rhodium? Because it's so easy to get carried away by diesel gate and all the, the Tesla news. But panic, you mean in, in the sense that they might become obsolete? or their yes, use would yes. be obsolete. Yes, and I'm convinced that in this application they will one day become obsolete. Except um, for, I guess, uh, platinum and its jewelry, you know, jewelry use. Yes, of course, there right. will be other applications for, for platinum, there will be new applications. If you look at the silver market, uh, silver went away with silver photography uh, right. uh, one and a half decades ago, and we have found so many new applications right. in, uh, in clothing, yeah. uh, in athletic clothing, solar in, panels, in medicine, right. solar panels. Yeah. The same will happen in, uh, with the other precious metals. All right, Bodo Albert, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll have more coverage for you from IPMI's Metals Mobility Symposium.